Gamers back with another video. In this video, we're going to talk about the game that people cannot get enough of. Power World. Pokemon with slaves, Pokemon guns, AI abusing, IP stealing, the game that no one can shut the fuck up about. Power World. And so today's video is going to be, why can't people stop playing Poker World, Power World, Pokemon with guns, whatever meme you want to call it. I mean, at this point, I just straight up just call it like, you know, the Pokemon terms. It's like, yo, we need the Pokemon to go do this. We need the pa Poke Center. We need to get all this. I mean, it's easiest for people to, you know, put together. And so, but everything is perfectly IP safe, but they do steal a lot from a bunch of other games, which is part of why people cannot stop playing this game. So. The game is more like a survival game, actually, according to Moist Critical. So the game is more like a survival game. People have been comparing it to Ark. And so I've got a little bit of Ark uh, gameplay over here. And oh so you God. can see in a little bit, you wake up on the beach. You've got the dinosaurs here. You've got your fists. You've got the environment. You've got level ups happening as on your screen. Uh, there's poison effects. You show up. You've got the dead body. You've got stuff like this. I mean, this is just a quick example just to get in your mind what pal world you know what people are thinking about it and so pal world according to wikipedia or uh according to arc i'm sorry uh because again Poker World is like Ark, is a 2015 action-adventure survival video game, and the game is played either from a third or first-person perspective, is open world, navigating, you've got improvised weapons, you've got single and multiplayer, I mean, there's a PvE mode, PvP mode, I mean, you could see why this game is uh, so similar to Ark. And so, to just to really quickly, we've got this uh, Pokemon with guns that everyone talks about. So so let's just go into where this Pokemon, like if this is a survival game, then how come people are calling it Pokemon with guns, right? So the game has a ton of technology trees similar to other games. For me personally, I think a cyberpunk where you've got melee, science, and your guardians, you know, your your like AI you know, aspect of uh, cyberpunk, right? And in this game, that's the Pokemon, the pals, whatever. So the Pokemon, pals, in this game are used as part of the gameplay. They're part of what gets you the food. They're part of what gets you the weapons, the materials. It's less like, oh, let me go capture these Pokemon for whatever. Pokemon master you know whatever BS reason are in these Pokemon games so you could challenge the bosses I guess that's the end game to challenge the elite four I guess so you know instead of capturing Pokemon to beat the elite four I need to mine some rocks I need more ammo I need whatever whatever I need in the game and you get those resources with the help of your Pokemon. And to get rid of the larger pals, to take out the big guys, you need, you know, the better guns to do the better damage, you know? So, hey, you know, Pokemon with guns. That's how that ended up coming about. So, the top reasons why people are obsessed with this game. So, multiple different game modes and customization, stable, smooth, stable servers, stable servers, and smooth gameplay, absolute meme modes, and it's all buttery smooth on the Unreal Engine. I mean, Unreal is really separating itself uh, from the other one, Unity, that had another, uh, you know, little, uh, it was in the news this earlier this year, but it's really separating itself. I mean, the amount of things that you could do with it, and it's all buttery smooth, is fucking awesome. The alpha phase is... Another reason why people are obsessed with this game is because the devs have told us it's an alpha. It's buggy as shit. There's all sorts of different things wrong with the game. It could, it's definitely going to need some polish, right? But this is, I mean, if this is the core gameplay, this is the base gameplay, I mean, I'm fucking in, baby. I mean, it's like the same thing with the finals. The finals was in beta, had all sorts of little things, right? But people love the gameplay, core gameplay loop that they're like, yeah, fuck yeah, sign me up for the beta. I'll keep coming back. Once this game's released i'm going to play the shit out of this game and they've already come out and said that they are hiring more people with the money that they are getting from this release similarly to kind of the alpha phase it's scuffed in all the right reasons it's just got a perfect combination of bug and working right now and it's just oh it's just so perfect 
And then for the actual gameplay gameplay, it's this disgusting Frankenstein's monster mash of Breath of the Wild, a little bit of Genshin maybe, Ark, Valenheim, Raft Satisfactory, Factorio, all of those kind of building, harvesting games. There's little bits from all of that. Tarkov and PUBG shooting gameplay kind of thrown in there. Well, I guess it's more like Fortnite, I guess, but before, you know, Fortnite. And going a little bit more into Frankenstein's monster, right? So we've got Breath of the Wild and Genshin Impact. That's where you get the climbing, the group combat, as far as switching people out, having these different... You know, because in Genshin, you've got all the your team of three people that you could swap in and out and, you know, combine different attacks and all this stuff. And that's what it's like in the game. You can unlock the ability for different pokes to follow you around and shoot stuff around you. The Ark Valenheim, that's where you get this hunger system, the status, needing to take meds to heal stuff, needing to take different for the different status alignments. You need different things for all of that. Satisfactory, Factorio, Raft, that's where you get the building, the technology, the assembly lines, the different mechanics like that, right? Uh, we already said Tarkov PUBG, Rogue Company is like the shooting. Ro Honestly, it's got a lot like Rogue Company, but I also just love Rogue Company. That game was fucking awesome. And then Fallout 4 slash Fortnite, so obviously Unreal, Fortnite, you can see where that combines, but f uh, Fallout 4... And a surprisingly nice building system. And to me, it feels exactly like this game's building system. I mean, you've got the Fortnite wheel, you've got the Fortnite building, but then it's kind of like on top of like what they, you know, it's like a, it's like a revamped Fallout 4 building system through Unreal and Fortnite. So what's the best part about this game? Because I think the reason that everyone really likes it, and Charlie brought this up, is that Pokemon fans have been complaining about what Pokemon could be for years. I have been complaining for at least five, four or five years, because I played Temtem when it came out. I put like 150 hours in the Temtem. That game was, and still is fucking awesome, but that game was a Pokemon clone with with all of the quality of life features that Pokemon didn't do that they could have, where this game is just a fresh open world. It's like, oh my God, it's like, this is like exactly what I th would think Pokemon would be if it ventured out, if they took that risk, if they actually, if Game Freak and Nintendo took that leap and said, you know what, I'm going to not copy and paste all of my models. I'm going to not reuse all of this shit from the past. I'm going to not just have everything exactly the same, but oh, but there's a new evolution, guys. Oh, but uh, there are new colors. And look, these guys have beards and funny eyebrows now. Oh, my God. Isn't this game so unique and fresh? Everyone's going to buy it, right? Oh, my God, right? And it's like, bro, I mean, like, holy shit. I mean, don't get me wrong. I bought every single fucking Pokemon game in existence up until Sun and Moon. Like, I mean, I have every fucking Pokemon game in existence until Sun and Moon. I mean, like, believe me, I'm fucking part of the problem, right? And that's why we got so mad as Pokemon fans, because it's like, fuck, we're trapped in this cycle. We have to buy this shit. But, I mean, it's like they never change. And so this game is just everything that we wish Pokemon was. And I think that's why, I mean, it is everyone's playing the absolute fucking shit out of this game. And now to the gameplay. Away! So... We've got Power World, right? And I'm going to not do the entire gameplay like this because we're already at 10 minutes. We're going to just, you know, do a very quick speed through, just real super ultra quick. So here we've got the custom customization of all the servers. Oh, what? You don't like gathering? Oh, you don't like fighting? Oh, whatever game modes you want to play? Oh, well, you have sliders to fuck with all of that, baby. So whatever gaming experience you want to have, have it. Have it. We're not going to force you how to play this game. You could play this game however you like. I mean, holy shit. Incredible. You've got the customer 
or custom person characterization with sliders for whatever body type you want. It's like, hey, you want to fucking make a chick with a dude fucking face with jacked ass fucking arms and tiny little twink baby legs? Fucking go for it. Do it. We don't give a shit. And look, oh, look at this. Isn't this so familiar? Oh, man, I, f I feel like I've seen this, like, waking up on a beach, like, intro scene before. And you're wearing nothing but, like, the clothes. Like, huh, I feel like I've almost seen this before. Right? What the heck? Oh, wait, what is this? This little tower thing and this, like, little, like, tablet thingy that, like, huh, I feel like I've definitely seen this before. What the heck? <laughs> and it's like, look at these towers and this main area. I I mean, this fucking main area, like, and I don't have the music, but the music is like the boing, chilling. It's like the exact same fucking sounds that Breath of the Fucking Wild uses. I mean, holy shit. If this shit was cell shaded, bro. But look at how, I mean, anytime you see any of this, like, look, you can see the tower in the back. It's just like Breath of the Wild. You can go to that tower. You want to go fucking check it out? Fucking pop out the glider. Let's fucking go, baby. And then the last thing we'll show you, here's the technology trees that you get technology points when you le level up. Here's the whole inventory, everything. You've got guilds. I mean, you've got so much shit. And when you look at the actual gameplay, so here's a little bit of the gameplay. You've got all of these building wheels, all of this shit. Look at all, and it's all buttery smooth to access. Everything's on the scroll wheel for all the stuff up top. All of the building stuff, it's all snappy. Look at it all snap right in. Boom, boom, boom. You can just build how you want to build. If you're inside this little base, it's all free. Everything is unlimited if you're inside the circle. I mean, and then we go over to a little bit of the combat. I get raided. Uh-oh. Determining Totoko imploding unit. Look out. Oh, shit. And then go up and it's like, oh, boom, boom, boom. Here they are. Everything shows you how. I mean, this game is such a beautiful Frankenstein holy shit you gotta play it so hopefully this video gets you excited hopefully you want to play pal world now hopefully you ex understand a little bit more about it and i didn't this video could be an hour long this video could be four fucking hours long this game is so nice i could rant about it forever it's so fucking oh my god but this is just a little taste i hope you like it i hope you want to play it and don't forget smoke grass eat ass be excellent to each other deuces